to my channel if you are new here my name is Teresa I'm a content creator based right here in Ilori Fara State in Nigeria so if you love what you see already consider subscribing to this channel just click on that subscribe button turn on post notification that will notify you whenever I post a new content and also don't forget to like comment share and of course before you drop your comments make sure you watch this video till the end get make sure you get all the gifts before you drop your comments because if i see any comment that is not i don't know how to put it but please let's be civic with our comments down in the comment section so i don't know to prevent me from deleting some comments you understand so today i'll be diving right into history the relation between ghana and nigeria so if you are interested in such content like i said earlier on make sure you watch to the end before you comment you understand and also if you are watching and you are yet to subscribe subscription is free just click on that subscribe button and don't forget to post the notification bell behind it that will notify you whenever I post a new content or crew. Down to history, the colonial era is what increased the relationship between both countries. Both Nigeria and Ghana were colonized by the British Empire. The colonization gave both countries, which share no common language, a means of communication. This era also brought some Nigerians to Ghana. During the colonial era, descendants of Nigerian houses were brought to the then Gold Coast to fight under the British flag in an attempt to destroy one of the last holdouts against British rule in West Africa, the Ashanti Empire. They were called the Grover Houses and along the British Earl to set the foundation of the Gold Coast colonial army. Many Nigerians began moving to Ghana after Ghana became the first independent country in the region in 1957. Also, in the late 1970s, many Ghanaians moved to Nigeria as economic migrants. The relationship became sour for many reasons. Thus, under former Ghanaian president, besides areas compliance, for Nigerians among other immigrants were forced to leave Ghana as they made up a significant percentage of, Ghana, of Ghana's large undocumented population. The official reason for deportation was failing to comply with the immigration laws of the country. In 1983, Nigeria retaliated and deported up to 1 million Ghanaians and other African immigrants when Ghana was facing several droughts and economic problems. This further strained the relationship between the two countries. In April 1988, a joint commission for cooperation was established between Ghana and Nigeria. A bloodless coup in August 1985 had brought Major General Ibrahim Babangida to power in Nigeria and Rawlings, the leader of Ghana at the time, took advantage of the change of administration to pay an official visit. The two leaders discussed a wide range of issues focusing on peace and prosperity within West Africa, bilateral trade and the transition of democracy in both countries. In early January 1989, Babangida reciprocated with an official visit to Ghana, which the PNDC held as a watershed in Ghana Nigeria relation. Subsequent setback that Babangida initiated in the democratic transition process in Nigeria clearly disappointed Accra. Nonetheless, the political crisis that followed Babangida's annulment of the result of June 1993 presidential, Nigeria presidential election and Babagida resignation from the army and presidency two months later did not significantly alter the existing close relations between Ghana and Nigeria. 
two of the most important members of ECOWAS and the Commonwealth of Nations. After the takeover in November 1993 by General Sani Abacha as the new Nigerian head of state, Ghana and Nigeria continue to consult on economic, political and security issues affecting the two countries and West Africa as a whole. Between early August 1994, when Ghana President Jerry Rawlings became ECOWAS chairman. At the end of the following October, the Ghanaian president visited Nigeria three times to discuss the peace process in Liberia and measures to restore democracy in that country. So, if you watch now, at least if you don't know the meaning of Ghana must go before, from the history that I just narrated or I just told us now, you must have heard when Nigerians asked Ghanaians to leave. So that was very important about this Ghana must go. So in Nigeria, I don't know what they call it in other places. But here in Nigeria, I call it Ghana must go bad. So while editing this video, I try to get a picture of the bag to show you. Or if you know the name, like if you are not in Nigeria watching this and you have any other name, you call it in your country, let me know down here in the comment section. And of course, if you've watched this part, and you are yet to subscribe, please do so now. Just click on that subscribe button, turn on post notification. That will notify you whenever I post a new content. Also, like, comment, share. And if you want to this part, I really appreciate. Right? And I'll see you guys in my next one. So, till then, stay safe and remain blessed. Bye bye.